Invasive species are plants or animals that are non-native to an ecosystem and cause harm to that ecosystem and its inhabitants. Invasive species cause harm because they create competition for food and shelter among other animal or plant species. Many commercial fishermen on the Great Lakes are affected because invasive species are causing a decline in the native fish that these fishermen rely on to make a living. There are two types of invasive species in Minnesota, aquatic and terrestrial. Emerald ash borers have been spread through the transportation of firewood over long distances by campers. Round gobies have found their way into the Great Lakes on the ballast of large ocean cargo ships. Sea lamprey have swam up the Erie and Wheeland canals to make it into the Great Lakes. Invasive species have always been a problem. Minnesota has put many laws in place to protect the spread of invasive species, but once an invasive species is introduced into a lake, it is nearly impossible to get rid of it. Millions of dollars a year are spent to prevent and eliminate invasive species. They are locking down the Mississippi River at checkpoints to avoid the Asian carp from going up the sub-branches of the Mississippi. People are bow fishing to get them out of the water, and they set up hydraulic separation systems in the Mississippi River. You need to check your boat for invasive species before you can leave a lake. It's the law. It has so far slowed down the spread of Asian carp, but there's still a fear that they will go further north and reach the Great Lakes. To stop the spread of zebra mussels, the DNR has set up their policies on cleaning your boat from invasive species, flush your cooling engine and live well, and they are encouraging people to not reuse bait and dry your boat and equipment for two days before going to a non-invasive species body of water. So far, these efforts have shown the sp slowed the spread of invasive species like the zebra mussels, but it's still a big issue. To solve this problem, we can make more hydraulic separation systems and regulate boats and the rivers more. If the DNR can set up checkpoints to make sure people are not carrying invasive species, then the spread of zebra mussels can be more easily contained. The reason the Asian carp are an issue is because of a flood that transferred the Asian carp from sanitation facilities that used to clean, them, uh, clean water with them. We should spend a large amount of money to prevent Asian carp from spreading to the Great Lakes. According to USA Today, it would cost around $18 billion to solve our problems with invasive species. If nothing is done about invasive species, both the Asian carp and the zebra mussels will spread to other lakes and kill a lot of native species.